It is an astounding crime. A home sold right out from under the owner without their having a clue. A CBC News investigation is uncovering new details on this story, including that it's not just a one-off. Far from that. Farah Morali is part of the CBC News investigative team in Toronto, and she's here live with us to begin the hour. Tell us more about what you've learned and found, Farah. Well, Heather, we looked into cases where fraudsters stole the identity of homeowners and either took money from the mortgage or sold the home outright. And this is all without the owner ever knowing. What we've been able to piece together is this. There are at least 30 homes in the greater greater Toronto area that have been recently targeted and a handful of organized crime groups are behind these real estate frauds. Most of these involve mortgage fraud but at least four of these cases involve a, so a home being sold without the owner's knowledge. Now we had a chance to speak to a private investigation firm that works primarily with one title insurance company. This is the company that steps in when something like this happens. They cover the legal costs, they try and remediate the fraud and they're tasked with finding those responsibilities. Take a listen. Typically it's organized crime that's behind it. The people that actually um, are front facing on the frauds, the people using the IDs, posing as the homeowners, are not the ultimate people that are receiving the funds. They're usually paid stand-ins. Um, a lot of times they're um, 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 petty criminals that are paid now, King has four of these cases on his table right now where a home was sold outright, but there are likely more than that. Keep in mind, he works, as I said, primarily for one title insurance company. There are three others in Canada, and we made contact with all of them. And Heather, all of them confirmed that they have additional cases of these so-called stolen homes. I mean, you've been reporting on this for some time, Farah, and continue to uncover more and more of these cases. How long have criminal organizations been running scams like these? So, Heather, most of the experts that we spoke to have told us that this is a fairly recent trend. They started seeing the volume of these types of cases pick up in late 2019, continued through the pandemic until now. And, and the losses are, are pretty significant. We had a chance to speak to uh, somebody from Chicago Title Insurance Company Canada, and he told me, or he estimates, that the losses to the title insurance industry are about $200 million in, in recent years. And he says that they went from having virtually none of these types of cases to now dozens. And what he also told me is that they're seeing kind of a level of sophistication with these identity frauds that they've never seen before. The problem we're running into is either fake IDs are so good that they're almost impossible to tell, or we actually have seen an instance where a person had a valid driver's license from the ministry with their face on it, but all of the information of the true homeowner on it. And in that instance, they were able to get a three and a half million dollar mortgage and disappear. Now, what Ryder told me is that they did have cases where, you know, an ID appeared valid, the numbers appeared valid, the, everything looked perfectly normal, but they were just fake IDs. It speaks to just how much this has evolved, the technology has evolved uh, by these fraudsters. He and others are calling for more than one piece of government ID to be used in many of these transactions to kind of stem this, this, this tide of real estate fraud cases. Farah, thank you so much. Farah, part of the CBC News investigative team looking into this, and you can read more about Farah's reporting and the rest of the team's efforts at cbcnews.ca today.